Well, Deck, obviously, the main objective of any player coming on trial at any club is to earn, your, earn themselves a deal. It's been yeah. a busy few weeks, but you managed to do that. You must be pleased. Yeah, yeah, it came out the blue, really. Um, I was sat at home having a barbecue in my sister's house, and uh, I get a call off my agent, and uh, I haven't been doing anything prior, and uh, I just thrown myself into five games in two weeks, so yeah, it went bad. You have to be ready to jump at those opportunities, yeah, against, exactly, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You've got to keep yourself ready over the summer, you know, something can occur out of nothing, and uh, yeah, thankfully it did, and I'm here now. I'm happy to be here. Clearly, you've played um, at national level with Southport uh, yeah. last season. Talk us through your campaign. Um, well, it's a bit of a sore subject, really. It's not something I want to go into, but uh, what I can't say is um, I've learned a lot from it. It was my first uh, year in senior football, and um, it's made me hungrier to be uh, successful. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, this, this year is a successful campaign. And that's the thing in football, I suppose, isn't it? Those experiences, whether they're good or bad, you can almost always use them to drive you forward. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Like uh, it was a tough, a tough year last year for uh, all the players involved, and uh, a lot went on behind the scenes that uh, I don't really want to get into. But uh, I'm part of Kid Kidderminster Kid now, and uh, happy to be here. So we've talked about that then in terms of the immediate past. What about the immediate future and the present? How have you enjoyed mixing with this group? Yeah, you know, it's great. Right. You know, there's uh, some really good players here, and. Uh, as you touched, I played in conference last year, and a lot of them had, could easily play at that level. And the team, as it as it is, is a conference, if not better, standard as well. So they're really good. Fitness-wise, you're always demanded to work very hard in this squad. But as yeah. you mentioned before, you, you've gone from very quickly to physically not being able to do a lot to being thrown right into the deep end. Yeah. You enjoyed that aspect. Of yeah, it? you know, it's it's always great to be back in the change room. Uh, you get you get a bit bored after a while in the summer, and uh, you just want to get back into it. And as soon as the first session is done, you're aching a bit the next day. But uh, it's it's good, you know. You've played that many games during pre-season. I'm sure most of the Harriers fans who've seen a game will have seen you play. But if yeah. fans aren't familiar with you, how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, well, uh, I'm, I like to play as a sitting midfielder. I like to get on the ball and everything. But I feel I can do a job a higher higher up as well. Like as you. As the fans will know, players are one and a two, and uh, I feel like I can play that too as well. And uh, well, it's up, it's up to them to make their judgments on me as well. It? So, are you feeling that excitement now with the new season pretty much like ten days away? It's sort of near it in now. Yeah, you know, the games come thick and fast in August as well. So, uh, yeah, just can't wait to get going now, and uh, hopefully we start the season off strong. And how important is that strong start as well? Because although there's a long, long way to go, those points that you accumulate, accumulate in August in sort of seven, eight games, they can be vital. Can't yeah, they? exactly. Well, it sets the standard, doesn't it? And um, yeah, it's, it's, it sets the standard. And um, well, it's, we we want to win every game, don't we? So uh, it, it's a great momentum, and uh, hopefully that the start helps us carry on throughout the winter months and uh, have a strong end to the season. So. Fantastic, good to have you here. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed.